Okay, so you see the young city Porte in your head, don't you? Did you see uh, Raising the Sun? I mean, no, excuse me, uh, uh, Lilies of the Field. I did see. I mean, he was. Did you yeah. see him in those tight white jeans that he wore throughout the whole film? Well, Stanley, this is an interview. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking you a question. That's why I'm asking you a question. <laughs> With those fine long legs and that dark skin of his against those, it was like, okay, don't get me excited. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do an interview. Hi. <laughs> Stanley, yes, absolutely. I mean, you're talking about Muhammad Ali and all these kind of people when they were younger. I mean, yeah. all enjoy it. Because Muhammad Ali was pretty when he was young. He was. He was pretty. It, we, I mean, they have something. Well, they have a picture of him staring at his pretty face in his all his getup about 30, 40 years ago mm -hmm. on the bus stop. And I look at it every day and I'm like, wow, this man. My mom was in love with him and I see why. Everybody's mom was in love with him. Yeah, he, he was gorgeous. So we, A lot of people's daddies were in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what advice would you give to the would-be playwrights out there? So that we can, so they can start producing this type of quality, amazing work for us all to see. Well, well, you know, the, the first thing is to write from your heart, and and understand that what you're writing is language. That is, you know, when you're writing a play, it's just not about people standing there and just saying things that are everyday and mundane. Because what, what it is, is is that when you're asking someone to come and pay 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars to hear your people speak, mm -hmm. I don't want to hear someone talking like I can hear on the corner or that I can hear um, uh, sitting across the dinner table from, from me. Um, and, and what I mean is I don't mean proper. I mean that make it artistic, you know, make your language artistic. It's, it's like when I hear what, what these young people are doing with, um, uh, with spoken word and, uh, or uh, you know, uh, deaf, uh, uh, deaf poetry jam. Mm -hmm. And I'm listening to the, that this is street language that is pure poetry, mm. that you can write poetry using, using contemporary language. And that's what we have to do is, is we, we have to be able to sit in the audience and hear that, no matter what it is, if it's, if it's just a man talking about how much he loves his woman or loves his man or whatever he's, he's, he's talking, he can say it without using any fancy words. It's just taking the words that he has and forming them and sculpting them into a work of art so that every single sentence is a work of art right. so that they are, they are worthy of being heard by an audience and being paid for right. by an audience to hear that. So, so that's, that's, you know, be careful of how you, be cognizant of how you write your words and you, you lay your sentences and you put dialogue in someone's mouth so that when the audience is sitting in that theater, they are moved by whatever it is you have your, your, your character saying. Absolutely. Well, Stanley, look, thank you both so much. I mean, I was just spellbound every single moment. And I'll tell you, I, Shahid Manning, if that carries as much weight as Oprah, <laughs> yeah. This is on the top of my book list. No, this is <laughs> this is really literally on the top of my list, my long list of, of shows to see in um, in Los Angeles and Hollywood. As far as I'm concerned, uh, bravo, bravo! You guys are absolute stars on the oh, stage here. Thank you. Thank you so and, and can I just say that it is yes. playing? It's playing at the Lucy Florence Village Theater. Uh, and uh, the address is 3351 for, uh, West 43rd Street. And uh, we will be playing Saturdays, two shows on Saturdays at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. And you can call <laughs> the number uh, to order your tickets, uh, 29, uh, area code 323-293-1356. That's 323-293-1356. Hope you come down. <laughs> well, yeah. He felt like he had to do my job. Perhaps it was my 10 takes at the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he wanted to make sure we got it in one take. Uh, but thank you, Stanley. That's exactly what I was going to say. In, in fact, you can call the theater. It's going to be playing indefinitely. Call for times, because I understand that times are, are slightly changing. But give a call and get down to see this show. It is absolutely brilliant. And thank you again for joining me in my maiden voyage on interviewing Hollywood. And remember, we are all including you. <laughs> we are all Hollywood stars. Thank you and good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.